The Glasshouse Mountains are a set of volcanic plugs standing proudly above the Sunshine Coast hinterland in southeast Queensland. The twelve mountains rise abruptly above farmland, just one and a half hours drive north of Brisbane, and are a worthy destination for a long weekend or even a full week's holiday. Tibrigargan is a major objective, a jagged, prominent peak. Even the easiest route up the mountain, the so-called tourist route, is rated as a Grade 1 rock climb. Many Queenslanders gain their first rock climbing experience on Tibro, especially the route on the south face known as Caves Route or Mountaineers Route. Start a Caves Route, centre of the screen and up there. A lot of outward sloping ledges. This is an Aussie Grade 4 rock climb, often soloed, although there are fixed belay points for seven pitches of rope climbing series of ledges up through the bush. The route was first climbed in 1926 by Bert Salmon and Alan Cleland. Double ring bolt belay before any of the real climbing. Got some easy ledges here and then we'll have to traverse right and already see the next anchor that takes us to the cave top right of screen. Okay well this is the first really committing bit where you wouldn't want to fall off. Diagonally up to the right, slightly out, well, yeah, it is outward sloping. This is the crux of the route, in my opinion. The ledges are often outward sloping, and the handholds not always jugs, so it can feel a little bit insecure. There is one move where your life depends on your right foot's friction on the rock. You need to wear shoes with sticky rubber, either rock climbing shoes or good approach shoes. I was wearing 510 tennies. This pitch ends on an exposed perch before the first cave. Well, that was easy, but certainly exposed. Yeah, I found a cave. And the cave has a track going through it, so I guess I'll go through it. The mountain is named by the local indigenous people, the Jinnabara. Tibrigargan means sugar glider biting. And here's the main cave on Caves Route. Nice camp cave to spend the night. With a beautiful view out to the coast. And then to leave the cave you need to traverse out across a very narrow ledge. And we're going to go up here. Oh, and then once up above the cave, here's the final wall up to the big ledge. Yeah, lots of ledges. This is the second main climbing section, steeper than the first, but more straightforward, climbing directly upwards on good ledges. For me, once up this high, the exposure is less intimidating because the ground just blows away into the background. I'm far more concerned when I can see the ground that I'm going to hit. Out of sight, out of mind. The rock is trachyte and rhyolite, not as brittle or sharp as typical volcanic rock. The route is climbed often, so the rock is polished, which makes route finding easy, but the wear means the rock isn't as grippy as you'd expect. It was probably more thought-provoking than I was expecting. Handholds weren't as positive or as juggy as I was expecting. I used the rope for safety to down climb for the video footage. I fully intended to pull the rope and climb back up with it as a backpack. However, once down, I just couldn't bring myself to remove that safety tether. If I slipped, I might have been able to grab it. There have been many accidents on Tibro, so please be careful please be realistic with your ambition based on your experience and ability. A fall would have serious consequences, not only impacting you, but would also place rescue teams in danger too. Bush bash for uh, less than 100 metres. And the final obstacle, the original route goes up that chimney. Apparently this to be a tree that got you in there easily. It's not there now, so it might be a grade 15 to get into the chimney but it's not exposed so it's not as scary as the two previous sections of climbing. The alternative 
is to go all the way left, work your way back up above. Chimney there, centre of the screen. This is the alternate finishing route now. Come all the way out to the left to the vertical walls and then just walk horizontally around to the right past that tree. Once you're up on the shoulder, you've just got to follow the track up to the summit. Impressive overhanging rock there. To descend, you can either abseil the route or cross over the summit and descend the tourist track. The Glasshouse Mountains is a fun climbing area, with Tibrigargan the most popular peak. A safe climb of Caves Route is an enjoyable couple of hours for a competent group.